Oof. All right, let's do this. Welcome, game developers and boppers, to Doug Teaches UE4. My god, you and your fucking release schedule. Uh, to be fair, I didn't think I'd fall in love with my job, uh, with my day job as hard as I thought I did. And sorry about last week. Uh, I got, uh, super sick. Uh, let's just leave it at that. <clears throat> so we're gonna be doing, um... Uh, ten, um, bas the basilisk. I made this crappy-looking close-top basilisk. I'll put it on my um, I'll put the link in the company website as to where you can download it. Because all you have to do, literally, is just go. Like I said, go to madhenhouse. Uh, dot com. Go to downloadable three D models, and then you know, grab what you want to grab. Uh, did I add the Hellblade to this thing yet? Ah, uh, no. Shit. All right, I'm gonna have to add the Hellblade. Um, uh, speaking of, let me, yeah, let me import that. Really? You're gonna do that now? <sighs> I might as well, I mean, like, uh, let's go here, vehicles, uh, uh, I'll do that now. Chaos Hell Blade. Chaos Hell Blade Fire, uh, Flyer. Let's go to import. A desktop. Uh, do I have that zip file? Nope. Nope. Ugh. Ah, fuck it. Uh, where are you? Shit, 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 shit. There you are, Hellblade. I'll just extract it to here. Uh, let's go back here. Are you gonna timestamp when the tutorial actually starts? Yes. Okay. No, did I? Fuck. I think I did something stupid. Hopefully I did. Yeah, no, I didn't. Oh, hell. Hellblade. Uh, source. OBJ. You're not gonna import the Dexters? <sighs> You are just, you are, you are hell-bent on pissing me off. But excuse me, you're the one that has, no, you're the one that's literally taking the time out to, you know. I'll shut up. Uh, pew. Uh, there's that thing. Okay, so there it is. Let's go to the material. And, Hellblade 2 or Hellblade, I'll use Hellblade 2, fuck it. Get rid of that. Plug that in. Close. Fine. Let's see how this looks. I gotta turn the camera speed down. Ah, uh, what? Oh, what the fuck? Why does it. Is that how it's supposed to look? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Go to Hellblade One. Either way, I will put it on. Is that support the website too? Eh, it looks a little better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Whatever. All right. All right. Anyway. Um. Yeah, this is gonna be uploaded as well. Anyway, so. Uh, let's get started with making this, uh, Basilisk. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. so I'm gonna right-click, Blueprint Class, it's gonna be of type character. Uh, I'll just call this Basilisk. That's, that's not how you spell Basilisk, I know. Uh, then I'm just gonna go here. Nah, I mean, uh, not that. I'm gonna go to the folder where I imported all these meshes. So I have you, you, and you. That what I can do is drag this in. Serious? Yeah. Oh shit. Sweet. Yeah. Um, but you and you, both of these have to be children of the of, of this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then I'm just gonna scale these down. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Wait a minute, something's up with the... That's not the same barrel. Right here. Take 
the and use that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So let's get the turret rotation out of the way because that's going to be the easiest. Uh, and I, I'll put an arrow component. All oh, right, because they're teaching um, how to how to artillery fire. Yeah, right, right. Move this, move this. No! Yeah, that'll do. That's good. That's a good thing. Alright. Hmm. Uh, it's not centered. So? I don't, I don't want it centered. Let's move it a little. Alright, yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, so let's compile. Why'd you compile? I don't know. Anyway. So, how to rotate the turret? What we're going to have to do is, we're going to go, we're going to right click, look up, okay? Uh-huh. What we need to do is basically, we take the barrel, right? We get its world rotation. Get world rotation. We want to split the struct pin. We basically have to check to see if the Y, because this can rotate vertically upward, the Y, which is this, we have to make sure, we have to look, we have to have some parameters. I'm going to move this in a little. Yeah, there we go, just like that. We want to make sure that the, uh, we, want, we have to have some limitations, meaning what? So, we need to take the pitch, let's say, if it's less than a float, if it's less than zero, right? We branch this out. Okay. If it's false, we don't want it to rotate because it's rotating negative in the negative direction. Can't do that. All right. So what we want to do is we want to set its world rotation uh, on true. So on true, we basically set world rotation. We split this struct pin. Uh, uh, to be fair, you can't, this is just to be on the safe side. You don't necessarily have to do this. Do what? Plug this into you and that into that. Oh, really? No, we don't necessarily need to do that. You can leave this as is. Uh, uh, I'm just doing this just because, just to be on the safe side. Um, but the pitch, you want to set it to zero. Because if it's less than zero, we, we don't, that means we're rotating down. Right, right. We want it to be, yeah. On false, however, we have to check and see if it's greater than uh, uh, another float. We want to set it, we want to... We want to say, hey, is this greater than 45? We plug this into another branch. Why do we check it to see if it's greater than 45? Oh, um, because uh, the basilisk, well, turrets themselves, tank turrets can't rotate for, uh, can't rotate past 45 degrees. That's a, that's like a thing. Supposedly there are artillery pieces that can rotate 90 degrees now. I don't know if that's an actual truth or not, but whatever. You, you see where I'm getting at. Okay, so that means. We want to take this and duplicate this. If this is true, right? Do we set the we set the the pitch to forty five? Yep, forty five. Take the x to the x again. You don't have to do this part. Like I'm just doing it just to be on the safe side. Z to the z. On false, uh, we want to take the axis value, right? We're gonna set the world rotation. World rotation. Split this struct pin. And then we're going to take the axis value and then just plug that into the Y. And then take this, plug this into X, plug this into the Z, again, just to be on the safe side. And we're done. Okay, what? Oh, yeah. And we're done. So now. Control B here. Plug this in. Uh, I'm gonna go into the blueprint. Open level blueprint. Get rid of that because I don't need that. I don't need that open anymore. And nope. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, wait, no. Ah, I'm just gonna... Uh, 
Yeah, that's this one. Why did you have to? I had to experiment to be on the safe side. Oh, okay. Oh, right, I need to add a camera, don't I? Fuck. Yes, you do. Shit. <laughs> Alright, let me just add a camera to this thing. Camera. So. Pile. Yeah, it's fine. And then in here. Basilisk. Plug this in the pawn. And we can get rid of this. Because I don't need it anymore. What? There's another. Wait, what? Uh, so. Whatever. I'm just gonna play. I gotta move this thing. I gotta move this camera out. Uh, what's up? I just move this down. Compile. Let me play. Why is the yeah I'm moving invert, aren't I? Oh right, because I have to multiply this by negative one. Ah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. So the reason why this is looking, this is acting weird, is actually. You want to multiply the axis value by a negative one because if you're moving the mouse down, the barrel goes up. All right, yeah. So we gotta multiply this by negative one, and then we plug this into the Z pitch. Play. Hey, look at that. We're rotating our thing. Now, if you want, like, if you want to slow this thing down, like the turn speed, just, uh, divide this by a float. And you could say divide by, I don't know, like, 0.5, and you'll be turning at half the speed. And, uh, ugh. So let me get rid of this. Ah, are we doing the artillery? T are we doing the artillery? Oh, fuck yeah, I forgot about that, didn't I? Uh, no, I think I'm gonna scale this down some more. Why? Uh, ew. Come on. Uh, right around there. Nah. Uh, right around there, I should do it. Wait a minute. Damn it, I got confused again. I got confused again, didn't I? Okay. I'm gonna hit control B. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. I thought I was like editing the wrong one. I, well, I was editing the wrong one. Uh let's scale this down. Let's this down over there. Yeah, 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 build the navigation as well as much as you want. Okay, let's get rid of, uh, let's do the artillery piece. Uh, we're gonna make a blueprint class, this will be an actor, I'll just call this artillery. And we're just going to add, uh, projectile movement components. There we go. Gravity scale you want to make sure is set to zero. You're not being funny today. Ah, it's Saturday morning. Oh yeah, happy fourth weekend, everybody. <coughs> <coughs> uh, initial speed, I'll just say, uh, fucking 2,000. And 2,000 for the max. Uh, rotation follows velocity, I'll check that. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, no, nah, not bounce. Uh, but we will add a static mesh. Static mesh. Static mesh. Static mesh, static mesh, static mesh. The hell are you? I don't know. I'm just making fun of gummy bears. What? The fuck? How big is this thing? Yeah, no. We are going to scale this down. Jesus Christ, right? 
Good skill is now. I All right, that's good. And then from there, we're gonna add a uh, sphere collision. Why the sphere collision? Ah, we'll need to generate some overlap events. But, um, because this will generate overlap events. This will still be solid, because we'll need to have an event hit. Uh, are we gonna see something like physics? Mm, no. Undo the scaling. Let's tone down the radius to about there. Now this will be overlap all dynamic over the static mesh. We got to scroll down here. We want to make sure that generate hit events is ticked to true, because whatever it hits, we want this to explode. So then, why have the sphere collision? Because in the event hit, you can't scan for actors. No. So are we going to do anything about that? Um. Uh, we'll just say odd event hit. Events hit. Just destroy. Destroy the actor. Okay. So, how do we do artillery ship? Alright, so. Odd event begin play. You want to add a timeline. And you could and play this from the start. Uh, let's double click here. I want to add a float track. I'm going to set the length to one second. Wait, what? I did now. Let's get rid of that. Get, get, get rid of that. You set set the length to one second, you asshole. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do this again. Can you believe that? Add timeline. We play from start. We add a full track. Set. The, Set this to one second. I'm gonna shit hold down shift, click on two keys. This will go to one, and the value for this will be one. And this will be zero, and the value will be zero. Uh, I'll just ah, should I make this occur? Nah, I'm not gonna auto cover this. Occur this fuck. Let me go back into here. Get the projectile movement. We get gravity. Grabs, uh, gravity Z, no, uh, gravity scale, get projectile gravity scale. So then what we want to do is we just want to add float to float, plug this in here, and then we just set projectile gravity scale, set it. On update, we, pl we plug that into update, and on finished, we just set it to one. Put this in target. Put this in finished. I'm going to move this. I'm going to rotate this. Now I'm going to put this here. Compile. Now on event hit, or rather, like if it hits anything, it'll just destroy. Uh, so we're done here. Now. On fire, we take the arrow components, get world transform. Wow, I can't spell. Spawn actor from class. What the hell did I? Artillery. Plug this in to pressed. Play. Come on, up, up. Uh, that thing is, uh, yeah, I gotta tone down the speed. Yes, you do. Ugh, projectile movement. Uh, just go 200. 200. Really, you're gonna move it that slow? Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's firing. Yeah, it's firing. I'm gonna move that guy out of the way. Cause like the gravity scale is being set. It's just um you're not seeing it that you're not seeing it that well. I might as well scale this up too while I'm at it. Let's scale it up to that. Uh 
right around there. Let's see how big this thing is. Shit. Might it might destroy when it's uh this dude. Why? Right. I have something to test. Give me a second. Uh, get that. Get that. Get that. Huh. My controls are a lot smoother. Why is that? Find out. Oh, right. I am a moron. Why? Right. Because I'm setting its rotation, not adding local rotation. I'm an idiot. God, I'm stupid. All right, okay, yeah. Get rid of that. Uh, add local rotation, Doug. God damn it. Split struck pin, put the, plug this into you. X can go into X, Z can go into Z. That goes into false, and now that the the basilisk is fixed. Uh, up, up, up. In pawn. Get rid of that. There we go. Is that me or is it actually rotating backward? No, it's not. It's just, uh, it's just literally janky. Ah, oh. anyway, you can fix that, Jank. Um, you, uh, uh, there is a way you can actually disable the mouse from going up. Uh, are you going to show that off? Not really. Okay. Um, whew. is there anything else that I was supposed to show off? Can you show off how to do the heavy bolter? Uh, oh, the pintle belted heavy bolter? Like the thing that goes here? And you just fire it? Yeah. Um, I'd rather do the Space Marine bit. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that with Space Marines. Because Space Marines will have three different fire modes. Or rather, the Loyalists will. Because they have combi bolters. Wait, what? Yeah, Tactical Marines will have combi bolters. Where you can toggle the fire mode as well as what's... Uh, like, if you want to have like a combi plasma, combi flame, or whatever. Whereas the CSMs, they can choose their mark, etc. Uh, I think that's it. That's all I could really show today. So what will happen next? Is there a tutorial next week? Uh, yeah. There will be a tutorial next week unless something happens. Because my schedule has just been become ridiculous now that I have... Technically speaking, I have three jobs on top of what I'm doing with Mad Hen House. So, uh, there's that. So my schedule's all types of fucked up. And since Captain K convinced me to do the Let's Plays again, that's going to be another thing of added work. Oh, shit. Um, but next week, I think... I think I said next... Because uh, uh, based on the vehicle schedule, next week, uh, I gotta do the Storm Talon gunship. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. So the Storm Talon gunship has to be a thing. Essentially, essentially it's a flyer that can hover, so we're gonna have to toggle between how to actually do that. You should have that, you should at least have the rapid fire, Ben. Uh, I'll think about it, in all honesty. Um, I might do that. Uh, it, I'll think about it. All right, well, uh, ending it here. Yeah, do it, narrator. And there you have it, game developers and boppers. Tune in next time for Dog Teaches UE4. Happy 4th, everybody.